Daily Broadside, day 49. This afternoon was a success for no other reason because than because I had to take, I was taking a turbo off of a German car and uh, it's a pain in the butt to get to because it was a transverse engine and it was back behind the firewall. But uh, no heat, no PV blaster, nothing. Just came, bolts came right off the turbo. It was great, rusted all to pieces came right off so that, that's always a win because if you've ever done that where they do break off and rust out and you gotta eat all kinds of dumb crap i only ended up breaking uh, one socket um you know and that was a, a u-joint socket so uh, extension i should say at any rate so that's a success and what in the hell is going on with all these women and i haven't seen any dudes doing it but it's all women on here with these like acting like they're ai doing all this crap and oh blah, 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 and, it, and they're going live and do it what what are they I, i'm missing something here please explain to me what they're supposed to be emulating is there some uh ai li I, don't, I don't understand what the point of it is they look ridiculous and the fact that people are watching this is is repulsive to me i don't like it at all but at, at the same time i have no idea what they're doing either so you ever notice uh i'm sure you have because it's it's quite noticeable um you go to a beach house, you rent it for the week, you rent it for whatever, and the decor is what? It's all oceans and waves and dolphins and, you know, uh, beach sand and the dunes and, you know, just all these pretty, where do you get all this beach decor? You know, where do you, where do you find all these damn pictures of stuff, their lighthouses and all this crap? You know, because that's all it is. I think it would be cooler if you put a house at the beach and made it like a gothic theme, or better yet, like a ski resort, right? Like you go in there and it's just all winter time skiing and people will be like, what in the I wonder if how that would detract from your week. You know, because obviously they want to plan a mood such that people can go and relax and everywhere they look is just tranquility, beach tranquility. And if you go in there and you got some dude, you know, coming down a black diamond with big goggles and a ski bib on, you know, I wonder what that would do for your mood if you'd be like, this is just weird, or you'd be like, this is kind of cool, you know? Uh, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, you know? <clears throat> but, uh, I, and if you're, today's Saturday, today's Saturday, so if you're at home right now, either one of two things is happening, either your significant other is out of town or at work or not home yet or uh, doing something apart from you, or you're single, and if you're single, Here's something I'd like to add that I think would make things a lot more enjoyable or at least a lot more entertaining and interesting in the the, uh, the dating world in 2023. And that's this. It's something I, I call genital geometry. All right, so and you gotta bear with me because I'm making up these rules. I, was, I don't know why this, this popped in my head today, but this is what I was thinking about while I was uh, working on this car for five hours. And the turbo wasn't five hours, it was like, the whole thing, you know, pulling a bunch of stuff. But at any rate, I say that to say this. So you've got like, let's say there's like 10 geometric shapes that your genital can be shaped like. You know, a parallelogram, a triangle, a star, a rectangle, whatever, right? And there is on the female end, the exact opposite. You know, you got a female part and you got a male part. And uh, you would have to make it such that you know, some parts couldn't interchange because you wouldn't, you know, because theoretically, I guess if you had like a small enough oval, you could fit it into a uh, female rectangle. But so everything is, it's either one or nothing, right? I know this is dumb, but keep up with me. And, uh, and you don't know, like you can't, you can't, for whatever reason, there's just a rule that you can't advertise what you are, you know? You can't just go on like a dating app and be like, rhombus looking for a rhombus, you know, that would be too easy. What it does is you date the person, you date the person, you do whatever you do. And, and whether it's three days or six months, when you finally do the deed, you realize, oh crap, she's a parallelogram and I'm a, I'm a Torx bit. All right. You know, and you just, you don't work, you know, you don't fit. So now you got some decisions to make, you know, cause maybe, maybe it's been three months, right? Since you've uh, consummated this relationship. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, but you know, she's a triangle and you're a circle and it's just not going to work. You know, some things I guess would work, but the thing we're talking about would not work. Uh, this is the dumbest thing I've ever thought of in my life, but still, 
<laughs> um, it would it would make for an interesting thing because now you've got to decide. Well, okay, so here's the deal. She's great. I've had a great time, man. This three months has just been awesome. But we don't match. We don't like. We're just. We don't. No matter what we do, it just. You know, and there's no surgery. You can't go to the doctor and be like, Doc, I'm a triangle. I need to be a star. No, you can't do that. Like, they don't make that kind of surgery. Um, and I don't think you'd want that anyway. The recovery would be horrible. I don't know why this is coming across my head or why, more importantly, I'm expressing it to you all. But uh, this is just another in a long line of stupid ideas that I've had. Um, <laughs> banana berry um and lastly before i leave to go do whatever it is i'm doing this evening i know what i'm doing i just haven't done it yet um i uh i only cry underwater hey giddy <laughs>